Hi friends, welcome to my channel. This is the last video of 2022 and I hope you find it useful. Portfolio is the final step and most important one before you start next chapter of your UX design journey. I am finally able to upload this video. I've been working on my portfolio for more than two months and now it's finally ready. I had a lot of ideas for what I wanted to do with my portfolio and I wanted this to be perfect. So yeah, it took a lot of time. But finally it's ready and I'm able to share with you. So the first thing I did for my portfolio was to organize my files. Keep every material related to each case study in one separate folder so I'll have easy access when I'm working on my website. Then I searched on Pinterest for a website design idea so that I'm clear about what I want in my portfolio and how I want my portfolio to look like. And then I also looked at other portfolio websites to get a general idea of what portfolio structure to follow. The next step was to create a mood board and start designing in Figma to know what exactly I wanted in my portfolio website. I created three designs for my homepage, for my portfolio page and about page. The reason why I started designing in Figma was because I had a lot of ideas and I didn't want to get confused about colors or structures to follow when I'm actually working on my website. And I added every case study materials in Figma files. So now I have all the files ready, I have my portfolio structure ready and I have my case studies ready. So the final step was now to create my website, just copy paste everything and draw the structure. I chose Wix because for me Wix is easy to understand. I designed my website from scratch because once I choose a template, I keep changing between one template to another. So this time I wanted to stick to my own design. But I'm going to choose a template here and design it for you and show how you can customize it according to your preference. I'm using this template because this is simple and is perfect for beginner designers. But if you want any other template, you can research on Wix and you find a lot of portfolio templates that you can work with. So now let's edit this site. So now the first thing is to upload all of the materials that you have for your case studies on Wix site file. Create a folder for each of your case studies. Once that is ready, the next step is to customize this template. Now I'll change the profile here, profile picture and name. I have read somewhere to add your profile at the bottom of your homepage but I have seen a lot of mid senior designer and junior designers adding their profile on top of the page. I think this is better than adding it at the bottom unless you are a very senior designer and your work speaks for itself then it's fine otherwise it's better to add on top of your page. Now we'll add short bio. Now here one thing I want to mention. Please don't simply write you are a designer trying to improve designs because we all are trying to improve designs and what makes you special, what difference you are trying to make here, that's what you have to talk about. They have separate project page but I'm going to delete that and add separate section for projects here. If you are using multiple sections on your page, remember to rename each of them so that you don't get confused. Now I'll anchor link the section with the project button here. Then edit this section and add your project details here. You can change color of this column to keep it simple but beautiful or you can add hover boxes for better interaction.
Now your website is ready. Remember to keep updating it. So that's it for this video. See you in my next. Bye and happy new year. Thank you.